Thanks for joining us. I'm Deborah Knapp. Tonight we are following two major stories involving the way San Antonio is policed. City Council is considering changes to how the police department operates. Meantime, the families of two people killed by SAPD officers are calling for their cases to be reopened. They joined protesters today. We're tired, we're fed up, and San Antonio is not the angelic city that they want to portray that it is. We are bringing you live team coverage of both of these calls for change. We'll begin with Henry Ramos, who's live outside the district attorney's office, where protesters want two cases reopened. Henry. Uh, Deborah, the past two days, protesters purposely have been right outside the district attorney's office. They want the DA Joe Gonzalez to hear their cries and chants. Today, families of two black men killed by San Antonio police officers join in in the demonstrations. They not only took their march out here, but also to the Bear County Jail. What else are we supposed to do? Two families united by loss. I'm just an angry mom at this point because my son don't deserve that. These four women with the loved one killed at the hands of San Antonio police. 18 year old Charles Chomp Roundtree shot and killed in October 2018. The unarmed teen died after an SAPD officer opened fire. Police say Roundtree was not the intended target his adoptive and biological mothers. We're gonna keep yelling, we're gonna keep making noise, we're gonna stay here until we get the justice that we deserve. As mothers, they know the pain of Cheryl Jones. My son didn't do anything wrong. The wrongest thing he did was ran. That's it. And he shot him in the back like a dog. Her son, Marquise Jones, was shot in the back by a San Antonio police officer in 2014. Jones was running from the scene of a fender bender at a restaurant. I just want them to do what's right by Charles and Marquise. Get these cops locked up, indicted, and charged with murder. For years, the families have been fighting for justice. The officers in these cases were never charged for any wrongdoing. Their outcries once again heard in the streets of San Antonio. Protesters in day 12 demanding the district attorney to reopen their cases. Darrell Washington represents these families. He says there were flaws in each of these investigations and says there is new evidence a grand jury should hear. The families beg for the DA to listen. And with that, is the DA listening? Well, Gonzalez told us he has no plans in reopening these cases. He says there's been no new information or evidence that has come forward since these cases were investigated. You can't do it because people are angry. You have to do it based on whether or not the facts support that somebody broke the law. Gonzalez says these cases have been reviewed many times. He says, how many times are you going to go to the grand jury? Meanwhile, that answer, not enough for these families and protesters who say they will continue to demand for justice. We're live tonight. Henry Ramos, KENS 5 Eyewitness News.